Hi everyone. In this video I'm turning a simple uh, egg cup, coloring it and coating it with clear resin to make it, in theory at least, watertight. The material uh, of the egg cup is sigamore. I hope you uh, enjoy this uh, video. Thank you for watching. I use a skew uh, chisel to um, round the piece and to define a tenon for the screw jack. I use a uh, half inch uh, spindle gouge to uh, square off the end of the of the blank, and then uh, drill a pilot hole to uh, indicate the uh, the depth of the the cup itself. I define the uh, height of the of the cut, and then uh, start uh, hollowing out using um, the uh, half-inch spindle gouts. I'm uh, following uh, into the end grain, so there is uh, some unavoidable uh, tear out. I don't get clean cuts. I use uh, scrapers for the final shaping of the uh, inside of the cup. I made a small uh, template uh, for the um, inside shape of the cup and uh, I can see I need to remove just a little bit more uh, material. I start uh, shaping the um, outside with a half inch uh, spindle gouge. Here I am uh, defining the size of the foot.
I sent the uh, inside and outside of the cup to uh, grid 400. And then I continue finishing the foot. I use uh, an airbrush to uh, spray on um, spirit stains. Start with uh, a yellow and uh, only uh, color the, um, the cup itself, not the foot. I then uh, add uh, some red color on the lower half of the, uh, of the cup. For, uh, for finish, I apply a clear resin to, uh, to make the, the cup um, watertight. It's um, fairly cold in the workshop, so the resin is a little bit too, too thick to um, easily apply. But anyway, I, I apply one coat and then run the lathe on a very slow speed for half an hour to, uh, to wait for the, the resin to uh, start curing and stiffening up. It did um, suck a little, so I needed to apply a second coat and then I run the lathe for two hours. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. We are now at the end and still images uh, coming up. Thank you for watching.